Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Julie, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number. Big day, college football, Steelers cuts, a lot to talk about. The Pirates blew a big game, wasted a start with Chris Archer. Uh, but, you know, now that college football is here and the Steelers finalized their roster, I think a lot of people are forgetting about the Pirates right now but hey let's talk the Steelers made a huge move today a surprise move by many but not by me I've been talking about it on the show for quite a while now I thought the Steelers will keep Landry Jones and uh, keep uh, Josh Dobbs and cut Landry Jones and that's exactly what they did I know Pomp has been talking about it too how could you cut a guy after what he did in that fourth preseason game he had a great preseason game and the, the Steelers are gambling on youth instead of experience I like it like I've been saying for a few weeks now here on this show, that if Ben gets hurt for a significant period of time, it doesn't matter who the backup quarterback is. He's not Ben Roethlisberger, and the Steelers won't be going to the Super Bowl with any other quarterback that's not named Ben Roethlisberger. So going with a guy that maybe um, one of these guys can you win you one or two games if Ben is hurt for two games and has to miss two or three games with a high ankle sprain or hamstring injury or something like that. If it's a minor injury, I have faith in one of these guys winning uh, a couple games for you, especially with Le'Veon Bell in the backfield, Antonio Brown. you got the best running back and the best receiver. There's no reason you shouldn't win one or two games with either Josh Dobbs or Mason Rudolph. I'm guessing that Josh Dobbs would be the backup quarterback. Mason Rudolph will be your third quarterback, but who knows? Um, they obviously weren't going to keep four quarterbacks. So that was the biggest news of the day coming out of the Steelers. They also cut a couple other big guys. Nate, Nat Burry, he's off the roster. There's rumors that he could potentially come back uh, in the next few days, depending on what they do. Uh, Brian Allen, that was a surprise to me, him not making this team. Uh, they decided to keep Marcus Allen at safety. So a, a couple minor surprises, uh, but obviously the biggest one, was Landry Jones not making this team. I know I've fielded a ton of calls here the last couple of weeks about why they should keep Landry Jones or why they should keep Josh Dobbs. And I think that they made the, the right decision. I'm not the GM. I'm not the coach. I'm just a viewer. Um, I watch these games just like you do at home. And I saw a lot from Josh Dobbs, a lot that can tell me he can win a game in the NFL if they need him to win a game. So, you know, you're, you're putting... All your eggs in the Ben Roethlisberger basket, as you should be, because he's your quarterback. But I like the move of keeping Josh Dobbs um, and Mason Rudolph. They weren't cutting Mason Rudolph, but uh, keeping Josh Dobbs, because who knows what can happen in the future. Ben's saying he's going to play, you know, three more years, one, two, three, two years after this year. So, um, you know, I don't know if you're going to have Josh Dobbs around uh, for that long, but at least you can see who is the better quarterback out of the two because maybe it isn't Mason Rudolph. Maybe Josh Dobbs is the future. We don't know that yet. Um, who would have thought Dak Prescott was going to be the future in Dallas? Nobody. So we don't know. And it's good to keep both young guys, I think, on the Steelers roster. Plus, nearly $2 million, and maybe they can go out and get a linebacker or an offensive lineman or someone um, that can help them with depth. Um, someone that's cut out there that might be that was maybe not a good fit for another team, but is a good fit for the Steelers. They always make some kind of move here at the end um, when rosters are, are finalized. So there's probably they're probably going out there and figuring out who they're gonna who they might bring on on that final 53, and then there might be more moves to come. Someone one of these guys might go on IR, and um, they might be able to add another guy. You also have to remember Le'Veon Bell is not a part of this final 53 right now. That doesn't mean he's not going to be with the Steelers. It just means that um, it's gonna, when he gets here, he'll be added. There might be an exemption like last year. They had two weeks, so you could potentially see that happen. So they probably have a few weeks before they have to officially add him uh, to the roster. So uh, don't worry because you didn't see Le'Veon Bell's name on the roster. He's going to be a part of this team. Stephen Ridley. That was my surprise guy making this team. He made this team. Don't know if he's going to continue to be on this team when they add uh, Le'Veon Bell in a couple weeks. Um, he'll, he'll be playing in that first game, trust me. He'll be he's expected to be here this week sometime. He's not going to give up close to $900,000 this week. So you will see him at Steelers headquarters this week sometime, and he will be playing Sunday 
in Cleveland. Uh, Stephen Ridley, I think, deserves to be a part of this team, and he is a part of this team uh, for the near future, but that could change. There's a couple changes that could be made depending on what's out there and uh, some IR moves, and the Steelers could change a few things. But, hey, you're looking at this 53-ran roster right now, and this is pretty much how it's going to be. And Josh Dobbs is your backup quarterback. Josh Dobbs and Mason Rudolph, a combination of one of those two guys, will be backing up Ben Roethlisberger. My guess would be it's Josh Dobbs, then Mason Rudolph in that order. Um, But we will see. We'll find out this week who the backup quarterback is. Um, But some other cuts that you expected to happen. Quadri Henderson, his fate was sealed on Monday when they traded for Ryan Switzer. Um, And the Steelers potentially could put some of these guys that they cut. Guys like Brian Allen might make it through the waiver wire. Quadri Henderson could make it through. um, And another team would have to sign him uh, to their 53-man roster um, if if the Steelers, um, the Steelers could put them on the practice squad unless someone signs them to their 53-man roster. So you potentially could see some of these guys coming back. I would think they want to keep Brian Allen and probably figured that um, they would be able to sign him to the practice squad. So that's about it right now with the Steelers. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys out there. 412-575-2600 is the number. Big win for Pitt. Uh, Pat Narduzzi said that they weren't going to play down to any opponent, and they came out and scored the first Three touchdowns, and that's all they really needed. And Penn State escaped a huge upset in Happy Valley. It's Pitt Penn State this week. 412 575 2600. Back in a couple minutes. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, putting new roofs on Pittsburgh homes for over 25 years. Call Ireland Contracting at 1 800 New Roof. 